Welcome to New Possibilities. I speak truth to power without fear. So this is today's edition of Black YouTube News. So yesterday I was watching Boyce Watkins' video. He did like a four minute long video where he was talking about black people who love to complain about the problems that African-Americans face. They like to complain about the struggle that we face. They like to complain about how black people don't have financial resources and this and that. And he said that these people basically don't offer any kind of solutions, any kind of practical ideas to improve the plight of black people. And when I listened to Boyce Watkins talking this stuff, I knew immediately that he was taking subtle jabs and shots at um, Yvette Carnell, you know, basically doing subliminal disses. And those of us who are into hip hop, we know about subliminal disses. So he was basically taking shots at Yvette Carnell. And later on that evening, that day, I was watching a video that Yvette Carnell posted where she's doing a live stream, she's doing her show. And this sister basically went all the way in on Boyce Watkins. She destroyed him again. The last time they had a debate, she completely destroyed him with facts and information. And this time was no different. In fact, this time was much worse. And I'm gonna go into that in a second, but I would advise Boyce Watkins to evo avoid mentioning Yvette Carnell because she doesn't come back with petty insults like a Tariq Nasheed or Umar Johnson. She comes back with facts and information. And these facts and information that she provides are just completely hard hitting. For those of you who haven't seen her video, I'll post a link in the description box so that you can watch it. Basically, this sister calls him out as a snake oil salesman. She's basically calling him a charlatan. And one thing that was really uh, troubling about the video that she did is she posted these video clips of this Asian man talking about some partnership that he has with Boyce Watkins. And this is the Boyce Watkins that talks about how black people need economic independence. You know, black need, people need to have their own and this and that, but he's working with this Asian guy who is essentially using him to pitch products and to sell black people hopes and dreams so that Boyce Watkins and this Asian dude can make money. And then this guy was basically laughing at Boyce Watkins, you know, talking about how Boyce Watkins cried during one of these um, videos that he did. And as he was crying and stuff like that, the sales for this particular product that they were trying to promote went up because of his antics and stuff. So I encourage you all to watch Yvette Carnell's video. She just goes all the way in. You know, she destroys this, you know, this idea that you can have black business without black politics. You know, Boyce Watkins, as you all know, constantly downplays the significance of electoral politics and voting, you know, suggesting that all we need is economic development, you know, building black businesses, not realizing that you need government to protect business interests. You know, and Yvette Carnell goes into much detail about how white races have destroyed businesses. And without the protection of government, you can't even have a business. You can't even uh, engage in business without safeguards in place to eliminate monopolies and things of that nature. So I encourage you all to watch Yvette Carnell's video and watch Boyce Watkins' video. But you will see that Yvette Carnell completely dismantles this guy. She destroys him with facts and information. She provides charts. She cites sources. She cites books that she's um, relying upon and different articles. And she has all these charts about the economic state of black people. And I think that one thing that people don't like about um, Yvette Carnell is that she is not about the BS. She is not selling you hopes and dreams. She's speaking to the concrete, harsh realities that black people face. She's throwing that cold water on you to wake you up. So. Bottom line is this, you know, I encourage you all to check out her video. Um, you know, again, you know, I like to see debate like this, you know, even though there's a little bit of pettiness on both of their parts, like some personal things that they get at and stuff. For the most part, this is an ideological debate. And I knew that this debate was coming, even when Yvette Carnell was on Boyce Watkins channel. I mean, you could see the political differences and the political tension there. 
So anyway, check out those videos um, after you've had a chance to check them out or if you've already seen them. Tell me what you think about this debate between these two. With that, I'll say peace and blessings to each and every one of you. And also, in case you missed my commentary on the State of the Union, I'll post a link in the description box. I did a video on my I Declare War channel, uh, a live stream over there talking about the State of the Union and what I thought about it. Um, until my live streams are back up on this channel, on my New Possibilities channel, I'm going to continue to do live streams on my I Declare War channel every now and then. So I want you all to, to uh, subscribe to my I Declare War channel, support that channel as well. Uh, for those of you who don't know, on that channel, I primarily focus on debating these so-called conservatives, these, you know, I'm not going to use harsh language right now, but these conservatives, you know, these people who are um, what Malcolm X referred to as house Negroes. So yeah, subscribe to that channel, watch that live stream. And with that, I'll say peace to each and every one of you. Good morning.